Around about a year ago, something in the prehistory world happened that was truly groundbreaking. Now the reason why this fell into my net of fascinating things, I'll come to very shortly. But for the meantime, this is a story of the Westwoods. So here we are in the now famous West Woods in Wiltshire. I say now famous because despite living around 20 miles away, I'd never heard of it. Generally, it's very much shadowed by its neighbour, the ancient forest of Savanac. This was of course until around a year ago, when it became arguably one of the most important prehistory sites in the world, at least for a short period of time. In 1958, some restoration work was being carried out on the stones, including standing some of them back up. Large cracks were found in one of them, so reinforcement was needed, which meant drilling three one metre cores out of the middle and reinforcing them with steel rods. Robert Phillips kept one of the cores, presumably as a souvenir, and eventually emigrated over to America. In mid-July 2019, in his 89th year, Robert decided to pass the core back to English Heritage, likely now realising its potential value to the archaeological community. So how exactly does this help us? How does this help us solve the age-old mystery of exactly where these sarsen stones came from? For context, there were 80 large standing stones. 52 of those monster upright stones remain today. They weigh between 20 to 30 tonnes, and that's just what you can see above the ground. So for that reason, it's long been assumed that the large sarsen stones were sourced fairly locally, and it's been assumed that they came from somewhere on the Marlborough Downs. Now, despite the fact that, of course, the inner blue stones came from the Priscelli Mountains over 200 kilometres away. So back to Robert Phillips and his now returned stone core from America. A team led by David Nash with the Brighton University set out to eliminate areas the stone may have come from. They picked 20 sites from across southern England, including a number of sites across the original suspected Marlborough Downs, coupled with sites from Devon right across to Kent and Norfolk. So using a geochemistry technique, this is exactly what they found. Each graph represents a concentration of trace elements of sarsens from each of the 20 sites sampled around south of England. If you remove all the poor matches, you are left generally with the Marlborough Downs. But even better than that, you can go a step further and remove the almost, but not quite, data and you are left with very good case that the sarsens were extracted from the West Woods and transported 15 miles south to the site of Stonehenge where they lay now. So why are we doing Stonehenge here? We normally do abandoned railways and canals and Roman roads and routes. That's a really good point. So as soon as the mystery of where these stones came from was solved, it opened up another mystery and the mystery of how they transported them from A to B. And of course that really appealed to me, the 15 mile journey they took across the undulating landscape really appealed to my sense of the route and what route they took. But how are you going to do that now? Because you've only got 15 seconds left on the video. That's a really good point. Well, that's a project we're going to be working on over the coming weeks, so uh, stay tuned. <laughs> 